Welcome to another SMC technical training video. In this video, we will show you how to set up communication and control for your IOLINK ITV. During the video, we will show you the equipment and software you will need and show you step by step how to complete it. In the end, we will verify that the PLC and IOLINK master are on the network of your choosing. Let's get started. Please refer first to our earlier ITV videos for general hardware layout and setup. You'll need a PC, software, and network communication to complete this configuration. Next, we can set the IP address for the IOLINK master. Download and install the commercial IOLINK master control software and operating instruction manuals. Then, set the IP address for the IOLINK master as per the manufacturer's specifications. Next, we need to set the IP address for the PC. We can do that from the control panel by going to Change Adapter Settings. Go to Properties, select Internet Protocol version 4, then enter the PC IP address. Next, install the IOLINK ITV IODD file into the IOLINK master control software. Verify that the ITV is discovered and has the correct port. Then install the IOLINK ISE20 IODD file into the IOLINK master control software. Now we need to verify the IP address is set for the PLC. Equipment settings will vary. Each device needs to use the same local area network so that IOLINK can be shared between the IOLINK Master, ITV, and ISE20. Finally, to set up the ITV for the desired screen display settings, please refer to the ITV technical training video on our YouTube channel for general programming parameters. Also, check out the operation manual to further customize programming on the IOLINK ITV. Now that we have verified that all devices are on the network and programming is complete, we're ready for the next step. We hope you found this video useful. In the next video, we will map the data between the PLC and the IOLINK master in order for the ITV port to regulate air pressure requirements for the application.